Uh, I have a two stories to share with, with you. First, someone told me uh, Adam and Eve would not have all that problem if God made them Chinese. <laughs> because Adam and Eve would eat eat the snake. <laughs> You know, uh, for the past three days, uh, Jason been telling his life stories about living in Germany and uh, how he went to school there and he went into the service and then uh, be became a policeman and now he's a, he's a chaplain at uh, one of the army bases. But he didn't tell you about this story. When he was a young boy, he went into the small village in Germany. And in this village there was a bell tower and uh, Jason always wanted to know what they do in that bell tower. So uh, when he visited the bell tower, he walked up the steps, he noticed there's a man sitting there and this man was just sitting there and he just looking at this clock on the wall. And he said, gee, what is your qualification to be a bell ringer? And this man said, well, you, first of all, you have to be awake. So you watch the clock. When the big hand don't reach 12, you grab this big bell and you give it a big push. And Jason said, oh man, that sounds exciting. I wouldn't mind doing that. So uh, the bell ringer said, I'll tell you what, I have to run down to CVS to get my prescription. <laughs> so you sit here with that clock. When the big hand don't reach 12, you get this big bell and, and you push it. And Jason said, oh, I could do that. That's a no-brainer. So the bell ringer went down. He went to the Savon to pick up his medicine. And uh, during that time, the big hand reached 12. And Jason got this big bell. And he pushed it as hard as he could. But he forgot to duck. So the bell knocked him out the window, and he landed down on the ground unconsciously. <laughs> So the bell ringer came back, and he was wondering why all these people were surrounding, looking. And, and they asked him, the town people say, Mr. Bell ringer, do you know who that man is? And the bell ringer put his hand to his cheek, and he said, Boris' face sure rings a bell. 